Hey everybody, this is Peter from Guitar Travels and I'm getting out of... No, I don't need a taxi, sir. So I'm getting out of the International Tribuvan Airport at uh, Kathmandu, Nepal. This is the country with the most beautiful mountains in the world, so I'm very excited. I'm, I'm on a mission. This time I'm gonna take the bus from over there and see if I'm gonna get pickpocketed on day one. <laughs> Whoa, let's see. So everybody is asking for like uh, some money for a service, a taxi service or anything else actually. They can do a, do a nice service if we're polite. But I don't want to spend extra 10 bucks for a taxi. Now when I asked the cops, they told me that uh, over there at... Uh, <laughs> Uh, over there at the end of the red building there is a bus station, now let me go and see. Now I got some valuable information, they told me that over there uh, I got across the red building and there is a bus stop to Ratna Park. I've read online that this is the place from which you can walk just a few minutes to Tamil. Things have improved here for the past 10 years. I can see a lot of fresh businesses and wow, new stuff. So this should be the best stop. Let me go and ask. Well, so I got me a taxi. The buses were packed and I'm with like two backpacks. I don't I don't wanna take it rough from the first tower. So let's check it out. Amazing how they never crash. <laughs> they drive so carefully here in Nepal. I'm amazed. Uh, there are almost no rules, but they are so careful and they're always beeping, honking, so there are no crashes. It's amazing. It's some uh, for, uh, form of protest here at Ratna Park Square and the uh, funny thing is that uh, there is not a single country on this planet that I have been to that people are not protesting. Everywhere people are protesting, everywhere uh, people are not happy with their quality of life so you know they strive for better life and they wanna you know, protest. <laughs> Let's go and find my hostel. Uh, I booked me a hostel at the airport. I took a coffee. I grabbed the coffee and uh, I booked me a hostel in Tamil So I needed to Reach to Tamil the tourist neighborhood in Kathmandu. Maybe I should cross the street from above it's safer Now we enter in the real Kathmandu. I believe with my body size and with the two backpacks on my back, I'm way too heavy for this mud. The local people are walking on top of the mud like elves and I'm just... Nah. <laughs> Man, I have forgotten how crazy it is to walk in Kathmandu for the first few days. You have the feeling that everybody's gonna hit you with their motorbike or something, but they never do. They're so careful. They, they drive so carefully. In my country they crash so much more often. I love Nepali food. It's so delicious. Nepali Indian food is amazing. Now is the beginning of the tourist season in uh, spring. Usually April and May are very busy around. So today, uh, March 6th, oh, my big brother has a birthday. <laughs> Gotta send him a message. So today is uh, kind of at the beginning of the tourist season and uh, I'm hoping that there are not gonna be that many tourists. But uh, let's see what happens. Man, looks so much fresher than 10 years ago. So many new buildings. Yes, brother. So many new buildings and everything looks fresh, I guess. 
tourism is working well here. You can buy a lot of mountain equipment here in Tamel, from the cheap replicas to the original uh, top-notch brands. North Face is a pretty common brand here. Man, I'm gonna hit one of those little restaurants uh, after I drop my baggage. I'm starving. Yes, Na Namaskar. I'll come back later. Thank you. Oh, this guy was very cool. He invited me to make a video about his store, and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Once I drop my backpack, I'll just come back and record a video in his store. He was so cool. Now I picked my hostel because of the name. Its name is the Flying uh, Yak, which means, you know. <laughs> Okay, guess. Let's see where it is. Hey, I'm here at my hostel, the Flying Yak, and uh, I chilled for a bit. Now I feel like going out and just looking around the meadow, and I want to find something interesting to eat. Let's go and check it out. Just looking around. Just for hanging around? Yeah, I was so here. Why are you now? Where do you stay? I stay at the Flying Yak, but I was here 10 years ago and I was at Alubar 1000. So oh, I'm... Alubar 1000, 10 years ago you stayed? Yeah, oh. and this building was not here, the not big here, one. But now it's look. Oh, yeah, crazy. everything changed and now yes. all the roads are nice. Before that it was like all dusty. Mm -hmm. But I feel like uh, not a lot of tourists. Not many tourists, yes. Why? Economic, like... economic problem. Ah, it's not uh, that it's early in the season, it's like this already. But now not many tourists. This is yeah. very bad. Situation. Yeah. Yes. Ten years ago, at the beginning of March, it lots was like this, of, and lots of yeah, everywhere. lots of tourists yes. everywhere. Yeah. Yes. And, and the hostels right. are empty. Yes. Some of the hostels are closed. I've so heard that. Then just for hanging out today in Tamil. I want to check out what's going on with the hostel. I want to say okay, hi. Make now another hotel, ODC. Yeah. Really. Yes. So business is good for them. Yes. So where is the hostel and where is the hotel? This is the hostel. This is a hotel, not a hostel. No hotel. Ah, and the hostel is up there or no? No, no. They don't have it anymore? No. Wow, so business is good, I guess. Yes. <laughs> and uh, here, do you have any business here or no? We have. What is this, a coffee place? This is a coffee place. That's your place? Yes. So I'll come and have I'm coffee tomorrow. Hotel Blue Horizon. Ah, oh, nice. It was before also here, that's why you remember that. Nah, I don't remember this because I was over there, but nice. I'll stop by and uh, have a coffee tomorrow yes, in the sure, morning. Sure. Okay, man. Bye. Have a good day. Now I remember here 10 years ago there was a bar, right? In the basement, no? A bar, no? Club 10 years ago, 2014, I remember. There was a club with music downstairs, here or over there. Next building, right in the basement. I was there, yeah. Next, yeah. They Why not this time? They, they kicked us out at midnight. They said we close everything. They stopped the electricity. And <laughs> yeah. Nah. Why not this time? Why not what? This time. This time no, what? No. Yeah, I'm here. I just yeah. arrived today. And oh, I'm, very good. Yeah, I want to. Tonight? Huh? Why not tonight to go? Maybe. Is it still working? Yes. yes. So tonight yes. we're going there. Okay. Yeah. Is there going to be live music? No. Yes, live music. Yeah. Really? Yes. Probably there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. I'm a musician too, I play guitar, so maybe I'll bring my guitar hey. tonight and I'll see you. Yeah. Hey brother, you play this one, okay? No, I don't play no, no, no. this one, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, this one, Lixas, I see. 
Oh. Yeah. <sighs> the good old Kathmandu. Dusty, nasty, busy. Prices are almost as uh, in my country. Uh, things have changed for the past 10 years, like everything <laughs> is more expensive now. Okay, good. And, uh, streets are much cleaner that's nice but unfortunately the restaurants are much cleaner I would love to have uh, something interesting tomorrow for breakfast but uh, basically everything is more expensive than I remember. No wonder things change. Alright guys, a wedding is happening here. So just like in my home country, they have an orchestra to welcome the bride. music in front of the house of the bride so you so you know Queen the bachelor invites her kind of cool well there's a traffic madness in uh, Kathmandu everywhere everybody's going somewhere I kind of miss that thing <laughs> I mean, how can you not like this thing, eh? They never crash. I'm always amazed. How come they never crash? I probably is gonna sell me hashish. Do you have hashish? Yeah, okay, I'll come back later. <laughs> All these rickshaw guys sell hashish, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but I'm trying not to smoke <laughs> now. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, sir. No, no rickshaw, no hashish for me. No, 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 no hashish, no rickshaw, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. The last time I was here, I bought uh, hashish from one of those uh, rickshaw guys on the first tower of my uh, stay in Kathmandu. But uh, I, sadly, Peter is getting older, I guess. I don't want to smoke now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy almost caught me because he, did, he didn't honk, I, I heard him like a meter behind. Actually, when they are not honking, it's uh, pretty dangerous. I uh, have more fear of the drivers that are not honking when they are driving behind me. Because you actually don't know that they are driving behind you. So, if they honk, that's a good thing. And uh, now I started doing something that I uh, was doing on my previous trip here in uh, Nepal. So when, even when walking, I started honking when somebody is in front of me. And some of them <laughs> get surprised, they believe uh, it's a motorbike or something, but it's actually a person. So that's kind of a beep 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 beep. Okay, here we go again. Beep 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 beep. Okay. Namaste. Do you have a SIM card only with the data? Yes, sir. And uh, can you show me prices? How long you staying here? I'm staying long, long. So they are just 28 days usually. No, I'm staying for three months. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm asking for the price. Uh, oh, 600 rupees. Hmm? 600 rupees. For how many gigabytes? No, no. 20 gigs, sir. Uh, 20? Yes. For 600 rupees? Yes, including SIM card. In what? Including SIM card. In what? I'm sorry. And I don't... SIM card plus 20 gigs is 600 rupees. Plus 20 gigabyte uh, data, right? Yes. I want to get one. Which? Uh, n -cell or? Yes. Okay. But it's 20, right? Not 2. 20 gig, 20, yes. yeah, two zero gigabyte for 600 rupees. Yes. Good. All right, beep, 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 beep. This guy uh, here helped me out to get a Nepali SIM card for data only. I have my roaming in case of emergency, but I wanna use the cheap data just for, uh, you know, chatting, checking info online and so on. So it was, uh, 600 uh, rupees for 20 gigabytes of data which is about i don't know like four dollars i believe four dollars and a, and something for like uh, 20 gigabytes of data which is pretty cheap for me now let's go back to the hostel because it's a madness here and i have work to do at the computer hello namaste I want to exchange uh, some dollars. Okay, hmm? okay. 20. 20? No. 60. And uh, point eighty seven, no? Yes. Uh, thirty one. Why? But, uh, but on the other side, give me the better price. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, give me back the dollars. No? No. No, no over there is better yeah. price. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. This right? Point thirty seven. Yeah. Nine. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same Maybe price. One three one. Oh, one three one. I'm, oh, I stupid. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I stupid. One three one. You know. Ah, okay. It's the same. So it's the same. Okay, give it. Give it. Okay. It's Times. Sixty. Sixty. It's the same. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Okay. I have more. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. This just yeah. 
Oh, funny. Which end better? <laughs> no, no, that's good, good, that's good. Three, two, five, six, seven thousand. Eight sixty. Five, six, seven, eight hundred fifty. Thank you very much. That was funny. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm stupid. I don't know. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> wow now let me tell you that was a funny story i've done this uh, in peru once they actually gave me a better offer and i started bargaining for a worse offer and i insisted on my worse offer <laughs> and at one point they were like man we're giving you a better offer so uh just shut up and take the money and i was like oh yeah, yeah. i'm stupid i'm sorry uh, i just told you're trying to rip me off <laughs> that was crazy funny actually they did me a, they did me a good exchange <laughs> all righty some uh b-boys break boy uh, break dance is happening here in the middle of kamel some local kids have uh, really good skills actually Yo! Woo! Nepali breakdance. Hey. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, this guy is strong. <laughs> so it's Saturday night, and uh, the party is going on, I guess, on the streets of Tamil. Yeah, man. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. These guys are badass. Okay, pharmacy. Namaste. Do you have the amox? The amox? Okay. Can you sell? Uh, I don't need that much, that many. That's just in case I feel sick. How much is per 10? 100 rupees. How much? 100. 100. Can you give me two? Okay. Thank you. Alrighty guys, this is very important, Diamox, Diamox uh, is uh, the medicine that uh, you can take if you feel the, alt uh, the altitude sickness and uh, it helps acclimatizing faster and easier but I don't do it this way, I take it only if I feel very very sick, uh, Zolamit is the generic name <clears throat> and uh, 
last time I used it here in the Himalayas 10 years ago I felt, felt really, really bad <laughs> from the tablets. I am not sure which is worse actually, the altitude sickness or the, effects, the side effects of the diamonds. But anyway, it's good to have it because uh, when I got the severe altitude sickness, like a fellow tourist, random guys just gave me a few of these tablets and I survived, otherwise it would be very tough. So now I'm gonna get me a coffee from my most favorite friends and then now go some sightseeing. Now I got me a delicious cappuccino and a bit more on the Diamox uh, pills. I've read online that uh, they've been invented uh, somewhere sometime around uh, the World War II uh, in order to help the high altitude soldiers to acclimatize uh, faster so they can uh, run up the hills and uh, start the fight defending or attacking whatever they have to do anyway but um, from what I've read uh, in the books by the many many high altitude alpinists uh, some of them would start uh, giving to their clients uh, uh, one peel of Diamox uh, literally a week before they go to a very very high altitude peak in order to acclimatize faster I'm sure that helps but um, if you just take it one step at a time, it, you, you wouldn't need all of these pills. As I said, the side effects are like really bad. You, you get severely dehydrated and pretty much the side effects are almost the same as uh, from the altitude sickness. I don't know which is worse. But anyway, every time I come to Nepal, I buy me some Diamox just to have it with me because uh, I've never seen uh, a pharmacy around the world that sells uh, Diamox. Uh, no matter what, beep, 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 beep. So, I always uh, buy uh, some tablets to have with me. So, when I go to South America or some other mountains outside of uh, Nepal, I have some spare deals with me. And uh, that's it. It seems that uh, they closed my street for renovation. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to get around all these heavy machines. Beep 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 beep. I just gotta keep on honking and beeping and push through. A quick vlog about this menu that is leaving the famous Lumbini Tanduri kitchen house. And this is the vegetable special set. It's very delicious. This is the basmati rice. This is like a dao but this is the lentil. No, these are some curried vegetables. Here I've had some different type of curried vegetables. French fries. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And that should be yogurt. I don't eat yogurt in Nepal. I'm sorry. Yogurt comes from my country, Bulgaria. So I have a special, special place in my heart for uh, good yogurt. And almost nowhere on the planet I have tasted the yogurt that uh, even can compare to the one back home. Anyway, so the good thing is that uh, when you order all these uh, meals in Nepal, you get a free refill on all the side uh, dishes, except for the meat. So they always come and ask, hey, do you want some more rice? Do you want some more curries? And I actually almost finished my plate and he refilled everything. So I decided to record this. Here the food is delicious, cheap, 
and I never had trouble with my tummy, so that's <laughs> very good to know. Once again, that's the vegetable uh, special set. Uh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah, and there was some bread with chapati, but it's already gone.